I just wanted to mention, because I've been in touch with Monte Cooper director, Mike Hicks, and he is in Disneyland, he's back tomorrow, but he did get invited and we would have given him an opportunity to see him in the last And uh, the, before we allow anybody from the floor, uh, there is a, a, a comment from uh, Denise at Watts, who couldn't be here, and she asked for assistance to come up and make a, a quick comment, and I said yes. So, sorry if it's not quite on the list of <laughs> Hi, Denise really wishes she could have been here tonight, but she just needs to learn so long. First, let me say how heart I am by the impressive number of organizations and citizens who have come together to show how important these lands are to our community. I know there is a deep sense of frustration and injustice in this room tonight, and I thank you for taking such a firm and impassioned stand. What began as Minister Rich Coleman's approval to remove forest lands from a TFL without any regard for the public interest has turned into a race to protect what is left of our wild coast from South Vancouver Island. To quote former Prime Minister Joe Clark, we have for too long had private interest governments. The provincial liberals created this problem, and despite years of public outcry, they are still unwilling to step in and save this land. It is shameful how badly they have handled this, but they seem to be immune to shame. This is primarily a provincial issue, but it is an issue I care deeply about, and I want you to know that from Ottawa, I will continue to work hard and assist in finding solutions. I have organized a music meeting in Ottawa with government to discuss the issue, and I certainly support my colleague Keith Martin's call to extend the Pacific Rim National Park. I also support the CRD and their efforts to help protect this land, the regional growth strategy for the capital region is in place to ensure that we contain suburban sprawl, protect biodiversity, and move towards the development of a more sustainable region. The sale of this land is in direct contradiction with that strategy. This land must be protected without exception. I hope that we can shake the provincial government awake so that they realize they must act and fix this colossal mistake. The groundswell of support for this has been inspiring and it speaks to the importance of partnerships and coming together for the sake of our protecting this beautiful part of our coastline. So above all, a huge thank you for all of you that are here tonight who have worked so tirelessly for all of us for this land. I commend your good work and I stand with you. Dogwood Initiative, uh, Gordon O'Connor and Kelsey Singla, who worked extremely hard on this issue as well to bring attention to everybody and to bring this meeting together tonight.